how to book clients on your website with Calendly. Easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up bookings on your website using Calendly. So let's get into it. So I'm not talking about creating a Calendly website. I am talking about taking whatever website you have, may it be Wix, WordPress, GoDaddy, whatever website platform that you are using and how you can integrate bookings from Calendly into your website. So let's get into it. So to start off, you are going to take any website that you have and you are going to first off create your calendly account so you're just going to go on to calendly.com and you're going to click on get started you are going to sign in with your email so i'm going to enter my email i'm going to click on sign up and i'm just going to automatically sign up with my google account you can click here to sign up with a password if you want to i am just going to continue with my google account and i'm just going to allow calendly to view my calendar and what you're going to do is you're going to set up your entire booking system on calendly and then you're just going to integrate calendly onto a page on your website so first off I'm going to name my calendar website which is going to be uh, Jane's consultancy like this and I'm just gonna click on continue and then I'm going to just skip this for later. And now you're going to add your availability hours. So over here, I'm gonna take a look at my website. So I'm gonna show you guys the website that I'm going to be integrating. This is going to be Jane's Consultancy. So I want my availability hours to be Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Friday, uh, with Mondays and Fridays off. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my hours. So maybe I'm going to only be available from uh, 1 p.m. in the noon. 1 p.m. so I'm just going to look for that over here 6 p.m. and then we have 1 p.m. over here and 1 to 9 p.m. so those are going to be my hours and you can change hours for each individual days as well and you're just going to click on continue over here and then we're just going to add our role and then you're going to click on finish and then you can add multiple types of bookings or events so you can see you have this automated booking that is added which is a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one meeting then you can just click on new event type and then you're going to add one-on-one -on -one. You're going to add your event name so this is jane's consultancy i want to add like a booking meeting where it's going to be a one hour long uh consultancy so i'm going to add this event as consultancy guide or beginner's guide and then i'm going to add the location so this could be a in-person meeting and you can add the address i'm just going to add this randomly currently because i'm not creating an actual business but you're going to add your actual business address if you are serving in a physical location if you have an online business and you can add any of the online channels then you're going to add the description of your event or your booking so let's say this is going to be uh intro to all your travel needs including visa and passport information like this and now after that we have the event link and you can set up a specific kind of color so i'm just going to set this up as blue and then i'm just going to click on next then you can see i have the invitee schedules so basically this enables you to set a certain amount of time where people can book you from so someone in june cannot book you in december because you don't even know if you're going to be available in december at that specific time so i only like to keep this 60 days within the future so within two months people can book me for the next two months after that that they can book me because obviously if someone is booking you one year prior it's going to be very irritating to meet up on those specific dates now after that you're going to add the duration so let's say this is going to be a 60 minute uh session and then you can add custom hours or use your existing schedule so this is the one i have the existing schedule or you can click on set custom hours and let's say on sundays i leave at uh six I can add 6 p.m. on Sundays and on Saturdays as well. So let's say I leave on Saturdays and Sundays at 6 p.m. like so. And once you do that, uh, you can go back and revise your scheduling as well. So you can add, you know, more information. But I have saved this kind of scheduling and you have this basic information. You have additional information as well where you can add notifications, you can add confirmation pages, you can have payment methods added to your website. But I'm just going to continue on with this. This is like the most basic kind of event that I have added. So how do you actually integrate all of this onto your website? 
website. I have a 30 minute meeting and a beginner's guide. You can add as many meeting types as you want. So it could be uh, a visa consultation, a passport consultation, a, a trip to Dubai consultation, a residential visa content, whatever kind of events you have, whatever kind of service you're providing or bookings you provide. How do you actually integrate this onto your site? So first off, I'm going to go into my website and you can see I'm going to integrate this on this website. Now, what you're just going to do is you're going to go onto your website. You're going to open up your website editor. So I'm just going to click on this over here and I'm going to open up my Wix website editor. You can open up any website editor that you have. You just have to reach the code of the website and don't worry. You don't have to write any code or do anything like that. It's a simple process over here. What you're just going to do on your website is I'm going to create a new page. So I'm just going to click on add and I'm going to click on menus and pages. I'm going to click on add page. I'm going to click on blank page and I'm going to name this bookings and appointments and I'm just going to save this like so and on my bookings and appointments page I'm going to integrate Calendly. So how do I actually integrate Calendly? Well all you have to do is once you create your separate page for your bookings and appointments, you're going to go back onto your Calendly account. You're going to click on the settings menu over here. And once you click on settings, you're just going to click on add to website. And then you can choose the three ways you can add this. So if you want a floating pop-up widget, you can add it as that. You can add a pop-up text or a online embed. So I like to add a online embed. So I just like to select on this. You're going to click on continue. And then you're just going to click on this entire thing. You're going to copy and you can also change the background color, text color, button linking color. So let's say I want want my uh, button color to be red instead of blue so I can just choose this pink reddish kind of color and the text color is this though so maybe I want a black background with white text so I can also add that but I think that looks off I prefer having a simple white background with the black text and once you do that you're just going to copy this code you're going to go back into your Wix website editor and then you're just going to click on your search bar over here or you can even click on add over here and then on your add section if you scroll down you have your embed section and then you're just going to click on embed a widget you're going to resize your widget so i like to resize this to the entire page like over here like this i just like to expand it as much as i can and obviously you can add it down below you can stretch down your page and expand it as it goes and then you just have to click on enter code and then you're just going to paste the code that you copied from calendly you're going to click on update and just like that, you can see this is what my Calendly little widget is looking like. And people can book me directly from my website without having to go on to my Calendly link and then booking me off of Calendly. So you can see I'm just going to click on publish over here. And once I click on publish, I'm going to click on view site to show you guys what my booking is looking like. So this is my homepage. And if I click on appointments and booking. You can see over here, this is what it's looking like. So if I want to book a beginner's guide, I can click on over here and then I can just book myself for to the 24th and I can add it for 2.30 and I can click on confirm and then enter all of my information and my Calendly booking will be completed on my Wix website. So that is how simple and easy it is to integrate Calendly onto your website. May it be Wix, WordPress, whatever platform you're using, you can integrate it the same way. I prefer adding a separate page. You can add a pop-up menu on the side as well. I prefer the separate page because it looks a lot cleaner to me, but if you want, you can also add it as a pop-up. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your Calendly account and book your clients on your website using Calendly. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.